See, Freak Nick started from the college campuses. Yeah, yeah. They were really like, like the Greek alumni and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Freak Nick started on the college campus. Mm-hmm. That's how it started. Mm-hmm. We used to go to the college campuses. It wasn't called Freak Nick then. It was just a thing that they used to do for all the fraternities. Right, right. Okay, it spilled into the into the streets of Atlanta mm-hmm. later on. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, the 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 origin of it started in the college campuses. Okay. That's what they used to do. All the people that that was part of the um the uh, sororities and fraternities, they all came together, right? And they put on different types of things on the college campus. Okay. Later on, years later, it spilled into the streets. Right. 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 You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So once it spilled into the streets, now all comers. All oh, commas. Man, right. we just you, the, you ain't got to be a part of it. You ain't got to be a part of no fraternity, no sorority. Right. You ain't got to be no college student. Right. Come on. You right. know what I'm saying? Come one, come out. Right. Come you on. feel what I'm saying? Right. So then when it's when it started getting like that, man, we used to shut streets down. Right. If you if your car was right there, leave it right there till tomorrow because it ain't going to move. <laughs> it ain't going to move. It ain't going to move. That it motherfucker's stuck. It ain't, it ain't going nowhere. Right. Traffic jams everywhere. Yeah. Motherfuckers trying to get to the store and stuff like that. Ain't no way. Ain't you know hell. what I'm saying? Ain't yeah. no way. Ha- but see, the thing about it, be honest with you, man, it was a lot of rape going on down there. Right. It was right. a lot of uh, drug overdose going on down there. There's a whole lot of stuff going on behind the scene, but it was a lot of stuff that the, the, uh, the authorities and the uh, politicians you know, kept undercover. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They didn't leak that out into the public because it was a money thing too. It was a big money thing. You got all these people renting hotels. They spending money. They buying alcohol. They buying food. They buying clothes. They buying gas. They, I mean, they coming from all over. They come from Ohio. They come from California. They come from all all states of America. Right. And some of them out of the country. Right. So it was a lot of money being made in Freak Nick. But see. When it got to the point to where it got discussed, what was right? Right. Let me ask you: this, You said a lot of money getting spent now. And now, what was they selling pussy for a bit, uh, back then? Right then. Well, now. well. Or was they even selling it? Was they just? Well, I mean, man, they've been selling pussy since the beginning of the time. But yeah. you know, you know free they, they might, yeah, they, they, they might want to give it free. You're gonna try to, yeah, make but, it but, but, to but, 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 but see, but see, um. Um, what happened with Freak Nick? Freak Nick drove the price of the pussy down. Oh, okay, okay. At that time, okay, okay. You feel what I'm saying? Normally, if you meet a girl and and she horn and she a street walker or whatever, that pussy might cost a hundred dollars, hundred fifty dollars. This in this in the early, this in the late eighties, right? You feel what I'm saying? But now when you go over over into the nineties, once Freak Nick kicked off, now you're getting pussy for sixty dollars, fifty dollars, wow. and damn near some free. Right, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Because at that time, when you 19, 17, 18, 16, and able to get your hand on some weed, that was the thing. Yeah. Before crack hit. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So to be able to get your hand on some weed and roll up a joint, that was the thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you 16 years old, 70 years old, and you down here in Atlanta, and you ain't drinking at home. You drinking in Atlanta. You ain't smoking weed at home. You smoking weed in Atlanta. And then you got the motherfuckers coming from California with that Cali Bud and mm-hmm. shit like that. And you ain't used to smoking no shit like that. Yeah. And now you smoking exotic weed. Don't even know it's exotic. Don't even know it's exotic. You feel what I'm saying? I and feel then, you. Uh, uh, And then not only that, you getting what they call roofies back then. Yeah. What they It, 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 it evolved into the date rape drug. Yeah. So motherfuckers were putting shit in motherfuckers' drink back then. You know what I'm saying? But we call them roofies. Right. So motherfuckers were putting shit in motherfuckers' drink back then, right. and they damn near comatose. They they, they yeah. eyes open, but yeah. they don't know what the fuck going on. Yeah, they-